Howdy people, my name is Andre, and welcome back to The Colonist. Uh, so I did a video um, about this game, I just, well, I'm just learning about this game. I'm actually doing the campaign, I did the first mission there. Uh, I actually got uh, a comment about this game, and I, I agree with it. it. The game kind of seems that they, they didn't want to make a game they were kind of lazy, so for instance, this is a game about computers, and computers apparently here have, uh, they need water and food to sustain themselves, which is kind of weird. Um, but, um, well, I'm not going to be quick to judge, and I'm going to try to make a few of them uh, and see, what are these arrows? Okay, I'm going to do a few of them, and uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, nine months, one year and six months, four years. I no idea. Uh, use, uh, use the map to check the location and amount of natural resources you have inside and outside of your territory. Okay. So we start a new world on each new mission. Okay. There you go. This location looks like a bit more promising. Let's build a small monument to celebrate. A small monument requires more advanced material. This game has a lot of tutorials. A small monument requires more advanced materials, including iron, and you're going to need to research technology to upgrade and unlock more advanced buildings. Okay. First though, we can see that we haven't got any fish available, so we need to build a sheep farm. Eh? Ah, we have no fish available. Sheep farms can produce enough food for four residences, <laughs> but they need space for the sheep to, gra to graze. Build a sheep farm and then highlight the location. Okay. Uh, where's the thingy? Build. Build. Sheep farm. Okay. Uh, there you go. <coughs> this one is not gonna. Okay. Uh, we need roads. I don't know what's the difference between roads and paths, but um, there you go. okay. Now, uh, nice. Let's wait for the build bot to finish construction of the she of your sheep farm. Okay, let's let's wait then. Okay, let's go into four speed mode. Your sheep farm won't. Oh, in the game is possible. Your sheep farm won't produce at its most optimal rate until you place the full 50 pa pastures. Click on the yellow alert symbol above the sheep farm building and click auto place. Okay. Great! Your sheep farm is going to give you a good start of food production. You can also add sheep pastures manual by clicking on an empty tile adjacent to an existing pasture, or remove them by shift. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Or remove them by shift and clicking on an existing pasture. Okay, it's time to build this colony on your own. First, remind yourself of the mission goals by opening the mission info panel on in in no, on. It should be on, right? So info panel in the top left corner of the screen. Okay there um, so been mission to expansion build one small monument now open the advisor panel again in the lower where you can see advice about what you do or build next if I go here no residencies no lumberjack huts expand your con oh. great this is where I'll give you Advice, warnings, and tips if you need them. You can also click on each advice item for more information. You're on your own now, good luck. Okay, so let's build some residences. No, I need to go and go add it. So, residences. Um,
Now let's build a road. Okay, now we have some residencies. Let's stop this. You need water. Okay, uh, let's build a lumberjack hut. Where are you? Um, it you need water so let's go here and well okay um, okay I can build a well here like so okay you should now have access to water Very, very good. Okay, now we need to make something. Okay. Um, expand your territory. <coughs> okay, now I need to make what's this? The height step. Move. Okay, I need. I need a uh, something to forest. So let's do this and do, 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 do. there you go. So this so lumberjacks will remove the trees and this will reforest the things. Um forces okay. expand your territory. You build a watchtower, yes. I need to you have one forces without any tiles yet. So let's build a watchtower. Where's the watchtower? Watchtower. Let's build a road here. Move this. Uh, hmm. I need to demolish this. Let's go here and to destroy this. Yes. Okay, let's then. There you go. Now let's grab a well. Okay, that's better. Uh, no connected to a road post. Hmm. Does it need to be connected to a Building is not connected to road post or path is too long. Ah, okay, so the path is too long. Okay. Um, okay, let's demolish this. Yes. Um, let's then grab this and build. Ground Rasta. There you go. Okay, no workshop. Build a workshop so you can research new technologies. Oh. Construction complete residence, okay. Uh, 
workshop. Resource storage. Uh, let's do a workshop. Sawmill workshop. Okay. Okay. You need stone. Okay, so we need to make stone deposit. Okay, let's. How can I work my mind? Okay, so now. Okay. Can I just do it like this? I was fast. Fantastic. Oh, you need you need what? Energy. Oh. Okay. grabbing stone which is amazing very very good uh, we need a workshop so let's grab and workshop okay we have stone and this will have stone as well eventually this is already a workshop. Sorry. There you go. We have workshop as well construction. So good. Now I need to start research. Scaffolding, stone mancer. Okay, unlocks construction. Increase construction, okay, so three days, three days. Can I? Okay, select idle, oh. Okay. So how much energy do I have? I have five energy L1s in storage. Okay. Try lumberjack hut prioritization. You can instruct your lumberjack, your lumber bots to chop down specific trees via the priority. Okay. Is that it? Uh, check out the map. Use the map accessible with the icon on the top left. Where's the map? No. The map shows a top down view of your colony. You can zoom in using the mouse wheel or the slider on the left. You can also left click and drag to pan around the map. Uh, on the right ha hand side panel is a list of surface and underground natural resource deposits. You can toggle the visibility of each on the map. Okay. By the full location of unrevealed natural resources are also indicated on the map. They can help you decide in which direction to expand and navigate your expeditions. Oh. And remember, if you turn out of higher, if you run out of higher level resources, you are always able to expand using level one watchtowers and harvest surface stone you deposit using level one surface miners. I need iron. Okay, so I need to go down. I went to the right. I need to go down. Okay. So I need to go here. Road posts. Ah. Okay, you need to be connected to a road post. Okay. Okay, so if I if I do this, if I grab Okay, 
let's deconstruct the road. And if I go this, Lossy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you need you need posts. Three of your buildings are not connected to your road network. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Find R and R research construction one trial number. I did that. Create fuel. You are always able to construct level one buildings if you run out of resources for our level ones. Okay, next. Eesh, there's just way too many tips. Okay. Okay, so we need to go here. We need to build another watchtower here. Um, I wonder if I can just select so posts manage the movement of resource through your colonies by setting up rules for this post like resource band ow oh. okay is this so this is water right if I go to the map map now oh no 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 but I wait a second wait a second okay I'm actually headed on the right direction it's this way it's iron here okay what happens if I can I just build another one like so This is exactly what I want. Can't complete road. Why not? Okay. So I have no idea what this is, but uh. kind of okay-ish we have eight storage we need planks we need planks okay how can I make planks construction complete You now have some coal deposits within your territory. Coal deposits can only be mined by a level 2 surface mine once you've researched mining 1. Okay. Where's the research? You need planks. Okay, let's make some planks. Sawmill. I assume that the sawmill will make will give me planks. I think. Yeah, sawmill.
Someone has finished construction. Now, will will they give me planks as I need it, or will just they be constantly making planks? I have no idea. Fifteen. Okay. Can I make as much as I want? Okay, let's just... Let's place another watchtower here. There you go. I might need more residents, right? At least what I th that's what I think. Guys, this gameplay will be a bit shorter than usual. Workshop village research complete. Scaffolding one has been completed. Okay. Unfortunately, this gameplay will be a bit shorter than usual. Uh, because I gotta go. Uh, I have like five minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check it out. So, uh, there we go. Ba -ba -ba. You're sleeping because you don't have. There we go. Three things. Du -du -du. Oh, you're not sleeping. You just don't have anything to do. Okay. You not have an idle workshop? No, I don't. It's idle. Damn. Okay. Construction one. Okay. 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 Should I have somebody here? Okay. We have iron ore deposits available, stone deposits available, coal deposits available. Okay. Good. Territory gained. Okay. Now I need to build. Oh, you now have an underground deposit inside your territory. I do. You can mine this location by construction a shaft mine on it. Okay. When placing the shaft mine, you need to line up the building footprint so the mine track lines up to the mine entrance. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Uh, okay, we need more residencies. Uh, so let's just. it and we need more logs okay uh, I've tried this okay let's do like this prioritize this this is going to be chopped down if we do We're done, right? I did prioritize. At all. You can instruct the number of spots to chop down specific trees via the priority level. Okay. Okay. That doesn't go away. So, research mining. Construction one has been completed at Ramon's workshop. You have an idle workshop. Okay. Uh, upgrade a resident. Oh, I can upgrade residences. Great. You have researched construction one. This means you've unlocked a new range of buildings and the ability to upgrade some existing ones. Okay. To mine coal and iron ore, you need to research mining one as well as supply the more advanced NGL2. NGL2 is generated by level 2 residences. You can either upgrade level 1 residences via the building's upgrade panel or you can construct the building from scratch. Your next job is to create your first level 2 workshop and your first level 2 residences. Let's speed it up. Now, uh, okay, can I... You 
You now have access to level 2 of this building. Click on the tabs at the top of the construction panel to change the level of the building. Oh. Okay. How can I up... Oh, it's, should it be this? Start upgrade. I don't know. Apparently this is it. I need more planks. I don't have enough planks. You need more planks, come on. Workshop available, you have an island. Uh, research complete, research, uh, construction speed, okay. Upgrade complete. You now have a level two residency which can generate the energy level two. Level two residencies have an additional requirement through dough. Alcohol. I need to give alcohol to my computers. Build an orchid orchid and cider press to start producing cider. My friends, I am going to have to stop the game here because I really need to go, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll continue on and uh, yeah, there will be a new video. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this little gameplay. And as always, I hope to you all on my next video. Bye bye.